Hello, YouTube family. Hi. It's Toya Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> big curls, big hair, yes. a lot of great scoop today. <laughs> and to make sure I switch the devices. The settings. The set, yeah. Because okay. you know I'll be doing that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I need I need it better because you need to see all this chocolate. Oh, today. you're so sweet. <laughs> it's like cute not knowing. Now you're going to know. Let's get this hug. <laughs> Happy birthday, I'll be sure. Oh, he is yes. celebrating a birthday today. He's gone through some health challenges. Yes. He's a transplant recipient mm -hmm. and his message on helping others. But Al is celebrating a birthday. Love you, Al. Happy birthday. Hope you're having a great birthday. Yes. My husband in my head. Come on now. Under all of this. <laughs> Elder Barge is celebrating a birthday. Happy today. birthday, Uncle Al. Yeah, that's her uncle. I yes. walked into work and said, your uncle's coming to town because uh -huh. he's going to be doing a concert that I'm going to be hosting yes. later on Labor Day weekend. But Elder Bar, is going to be like, make sure I have the, the, the pastor on site, the deacon on site. Yeah. <laughs> but he is celebrating a birthday as well. Mm. We're starting off with a sad note because we're going to take some time to remember Brother Marcus. If you, I'm going to take you back. The okay. year was 1989, as nasty as they want to be. Mm -hmm. Two live crew oh, was oh, hot. Oh, oh. Hot, hot, hot get mm. it, get it. Don't, Don't stop. stop, get it, get it. Doo -doo -brow. Yeah. <laughs> the two live crew, they were dirty, but they were hot. Yes. Brother Marcus, his real mm. name, Mark Ross, passed away at the age of 58. He was a part of two live crew. Mm -hmm. um, he is the second member of the group to die mm. because the Asian rapper in the group, he died a few years ago. Oh. One guy went into religion. I guess he said he didn't listen to the words of, of these damn songs. Oh, that's sin. I'm going to go cleanse myself. Yes. Yeah. And there's Uncle Luke, two live crew. Yes. We, oh. we, me and Toya, mm -hmm. we were in the elevator with yeah. Uncle Luke. At a show that he did. Mm -hmm. He the uncle. <laughs> Got that belly out there. He the uncle. Where my drink at? Yeah, where my drink at? <laughs> but Brother Marcus, um, back in the late 80s, the wow. two live crew, very controversial, mm -hmm. but very um, entertaining That's in their awesome. in their own way. Yes, they were. Child. A movement they created. A movement. Get ready for Rihanna and the Ooh. new Fenty hairline. Well, come on. Really? She is doing an all-out campaign. She says it's all about the strength and repair of the hair. Okay. And it's coming out on the 13th. Oh, y'all say running it. They are running it. Mm -hmm. uh, two recording artists in trouble, Kanye West. Ooh. He's being sued by an ex-assistant mm -hmm. for sexual harassment, sexual text, video. She was an, an OnlyFans girl. Oh. So, well, what assisting was she supposed to be doing? What was she? I have no idea, but she did not appreciate the taxes and all this other sexual stuff. So she left. He said, "I'm gonna give you three million dollars." He never did it. Hence that lawsuit. And now she's coming back for her payment. Oh, yep, Lord. she wants okay. her money. Producer of the Dream, who was just at the Roots picnic this weekend. And did a job. A lot of people may not know him, but you know his songs, mm -hmm. "Umbrella" sure. by Rihanna. Partition, Single Ladies, this Beyonce. He wrote for Justin Bieber, Britney Spears, mm -hmm. Sierra, so many people. Yep. He is being sued for rape, physical abuse, and this was from a former protege. Mm. She said that he bought her from the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Mm. That's wherever they is where. Yeah. Brought her to the States. She's 23 years old, and she is suing him. And this is this is this is not good. That's not all. good. That's not good. And you're right. His pen game, pen game. Yes. I mean, I can't talk today. Pen game. Yeah. It's crazy. He writes a lot with Beyonce, so I know she like you sitting over here messing up the business. Come Yo. on now. Diddy has sold his stake in Revolt TV, so the ex-employees are now going to be running it. Okay. Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, bad boys, bad. Boys. What, what you gonna, gonna do? What, what you gonna, gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> the movie is excellent. It's uh, better than the first three. Yes, it is. And I enjoyed the first three, but mm -hmm. it's something about this one. Now, when you see it, you see it. I can't talk to them. Say, Auntie, I saw Reg. Oh. Pay attention to Reg. Yes, just put that's, Reg in the comments. And that's all I'm gonna say. Just put Reg uh -huh. in the comments. 
It was good. What did you like most about this? Was it seeing it was seeing, Martin and Will together? It was seeing them together, but the thing that was most impressive for me was how it was shot. So there are, if you go on Will's page right now, he posted oh, today, yeah. um, you know, some of the scenes. And that scene right there, that's why you want to see it in the theaters. I'd say the first time, go see it in the movies. You will not be disappointed. It was. Just a very so good, good movie. Good. Tiffany Haddish was in it. We yes, were surprised. Yes, she was good. She was, she was good. funny. Um, go see it. Y'all got to see this. Yeah, and trust me, what she it. does say, it. It is the best one. It really is. Now, do you think some people will have softened on Will Smith? Or are they still going to be mad about the slap? If y'all still mad about you, go read a book. Go do something else. <laughs> like, this man, he's trying to move past it, get his life back together. He's owned up to it. Y'all not going to nail Will Smith to the cross for this. Stop it. Get ready for a new Janet Jackson. What what we got? According to her creative director for this tour okay. that Janet is on, it's taking her to... Essence. She'll be in Philly at the end of the month, but she's going everywhere. Okay. This new Janet Jackson Together Again tour mm -hmm. has a five-piece band, five backup singers, and the stage changes 20 times. Well, come on now. Oh, they putting the work in this time. See, they're going at the people like me who said, I saw her last year. Uh-huh. They, they said, said well, come see her again. It's different. Yeah, yeah it's on. different. It's different. <laughs> but, the same show. Um, it's a new Janet Jackson tour. Okay. Method Manny, you know we love him because he rhymes. But when he teams up with Red Man, they make up Red Man and Method Man. Yes, he was at the Roots picnic this weekend, and, and they were incredible. Child. But when they went to the Summer Jam Hot ninety seven in New York, mm -hmm. it wasn't quite the same response because those kids were there to see Sexy Red, and they were there to see uh, Doja Cat, and they were there to see it was a couple of other they did ones. not know the music because no. they were too young. And yes, this came out in the nineties. Yeah, that's not their demo. They don't know that stuff. Method Man said he will never do that show again. And I don't blame you. In 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 front of all these kids because they don't know the music. They don't, and not every parent. I mean, you should. I look at it like that. Your parents ain't never played this for you, houseway, but you can't. Just assume that the crowd is going to know when you're out of they the demo. They only know him from power. <laughs> New season starts on Friday. Oh, I can't wait to. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad that he recognized it. Because, you know, a lot of, it could go either way. You know how these people age and they be still trying to act like they 25 and stop it. So yeah, but I love that he saw it for what it was and was like, yeah, I ain't doing this. this these ain't my people here. <laughs> yeah, my, peop my people and I here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Caitlin Clark. I've been quiet too long. Mm, okay. The WNBA, if you've never seen a WNBA game, mm -hmm. they are physical. Yes, I mean, it's they, a is, sport. they is rough. Yes. And I don't think it has to be this physical, but these women, because I remember one time I said, damn, they rough. They said, we got we going up rough. against the fellas. We got to prove our points out here. Caitlin Clark had an incident where Chanity Carter from another team mm -hmm. knocked her down. Mm. I've seen worse. Chanity is getting all kinds of claims. You know, um, she's abusing her. They're abusing her in the WNBA. No, y'all got to do a better job of protecting the players mm -hmm. and not just Caitlin Clark. Thank you. Because I saw a game last week with Angel Reese who got elbowed. Mm -hmm. Then another incident, the girl was choking her. Yes. Can't nobody say nothing about that. And I'm sitting there like, they don't call fouls and stuff like that. Mm. Very, very physical. Mm -hmm. So it ain't just Caitlyn. No. They're doing rookies go through it. But when they play the race game in this, mm -hmm. and that's what they're doing to make it, oh, poor Caitlyn. Oh, poor. Caitlyn knows how to get physical, too. Thank you. She knows how to get physical well, and give I, it back to them. I did hear, well, because, you know, I'm not really, I don't follow that much, but I did hear people show the hit. But I think it was Angel. Somebody was like, but you didn't see all the lead up before then her yeah. talking trash to these yeah. people, this and yeah. that. So I'm not saying two wrongs make a right. But this girl ain't out of nowhere just say, I'm going to give you a hard foul like no, that. No, there's stop trash it. talking and everything Thank on you. that floor. And, and they need to stop with the one side. Thank you. And the men do that illegal, you know, stuff all the time. It happens. This is sports. This is sportsmanship. But stop. they rougher in the WNBA. I'm telling Except you, you go watch a game. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. It's, it's a little different. Okay, I'm going to check it out then. Plus size men what? are coming to the Bachelorette. Come on, fellas. Bring yeah. them bellies. Now. <laughs> 
We're not talking the ones that are fat and sloppy. We're not talking about 600 Life, no, Dr. Now. No. They won't be on there. It's just men who are a little chubbier, uh -huh. but they still sexy. Yes. And they still ain't like, getting it. Uh -huh. And they're going to start appearing on The Bachelorette. I think it's a great thing. because do too. Everyone doesn't come in one size. One size no. doesn't fit all. No. And that's some big... Look, look we said earlier, Gerald LeVert, fine. Yeah, Jazz that's a from Drew, Drew Hill, Hill was fine. You said so, Heavy D. Yeah. Child. When we met Heavy D, we could not stop hugging him because he smelled Ooh, so good. Oh, yeah. So it, it's it's a thing. And them big boys know how to hold you and treat you. Yeah. So <laughs> ABC. Good. ABC, good luck. And for you fans of All American, it's being renewed for a season seven. Okay. On the CW. Oh, come on. Can we talk about streaming for a minute? Let's go. The new saying is streamflation. What is that? It's when the, these prices of these streaming services are going. Insanity. Up, yeah. up, up, in a up, way. Up, up, up. So what are people doing? You've gotten rid of your cable. You're kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. Do you go over someone's house because you know they got Netflix? Mm -hmm. Or do you start bundling? It's a big thing. Because for those who have gotten rid of their cable... These streaming services add up yes, to do. another cable. Bill. They do. Meanwhile, Mr. Comcast going to be sitting there like, come on back home. We ready I for know. you. <laughs> I know. Now, to show the difference between, I have two funny, two funny stories. Okay. I usually carry a mirror, but today <laughs> I downsized. Mm -hmm. Forgot my damn mirror. I said, Tori, you got a mirror? She said, I got a contact. She said, you know, we millennials. We don't be caring. Most of them are SBR phones for the most part. She said, I, I got my phone. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm bad with the contact. They would look at me like, girl, what? <laughs> I still have my cable because I want my local TV. <laughs> she said, girl, if you don't cut that damn cable. Cut it. I don't know. The price way too high. We had to cut it. <laughs> I don't want to be waiting for it to come yeah, on. And, no. I'm not going to hold you. It is an adjustment. But once you get past it, you're good. You're going to cut the cord eventually. All these bundlings, you're going to get there. It's coming, friend. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. The difference, because we're like 20 years apart. Yeah. We we are, my mama did it. She's going to walk you through it. <laughs> you, you got your mom? My, my, mom, my mom cut before me. She was one of the first that I knew that cut cable, but she was, listen, she was withdrawn for a minute, but she yeah. had my little sister who was tech savvy okay. to help her through it, but she would have never done it without Day Day being there. <laughs> wow. I'm like yeah. a Jeffrey Osborne record. Hold it on. <laughs> yeah, my mom cut say. it before me, child. Wow. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Yes. It's Toya Tuesday when that notification nice. bell comes on. Mm -hmm. You know that we are here. And the laughs are on deck. And the <laughs>, laughs are definitely on deck, on deck, on deck, yes. on deck. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Don't miss the Toya Tuesdays, the weekend miss. entertainment yes. updates, all of it. I'm over here at your fix. Stop playing. Yes, this is... <laughs> Latoya Charleston, Chocolate Divinity. Yes. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.